Sick Movie Fan. See you in December. I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we're showing films our star of the month, Norma Shear, made in the early part of her career. Up next we have her in a melodrama from MGM in 1928 called A Lady of Chance. Now it's actually Norma's very first talking picture, sort of. It's basically a silent film, but it does contain some spoken dialogue, although it's not Norma doing any of the talking. <laughs> so what, you ask, is going on? Well, it was 1928 and MGM was the last major studio in Hollywood to embrace talking pictures. MGM bosses Louis V. Mayer and Irving Thalberg initially didn't believe that sound movies would catch on. Well, when they did, MGM did not have any sound movies for theaters to play. The moviegoers were now only paying to see talking pictures. So MGM began taking the silent films that they'd made, which hadn't yet been released, like our next one, adding sound sequences to them, and voila, they then had a sound movie for those eager audiences to see. Now, Norma's first genuine talking picture was called The Trial of Mary Dugan, and that came out the following year in 1929. And she didn't go into the new world unprepared. Norma made a beeline to the University of Southern California's cinema department, had a professor there record and analyze her voice, and amid great publicity announced to the world that her voice was ideal for sound movies. But all that was still in the future when our next movie was filmed. And not incidentally, the man who was put in charge of MGM's sound department from 1928 until his retirement 40 years later was Norma Shear's brother, Douglas Shear, who went on to win 14 Academy Awards for his work with sound. Here from 1928, directed by Robert Z. Leonard, also with Lowell Sherman, and future cowboy star Johnny McBrown, Norma Shear as a Lady of Chance. Mm -hmm. 